there are a number of ways you can help kids work through their fears and uncertainties. And I would suggest a few different guideposts. I mean, one guidepost is to really think about their developmental stage and, and what they're able to absorb and what they're able to hear, what their fears are at different ages, what their concerns are. Another guidepost is that I think we always want to be child-led. So, you know, our concerns may be very different from their concerns. So we really need to want to create an environment where kids can ask their questions. And um, be responsive to their questions. The main thing on kids' mind is, am I safe? And is are you, my parents, safe? I mean, kids want to know their parents are safe as well. I think the question of how children have compassion is a, is a great one. And, you know, this is an opportunity for kids to think about other people too. I mean, obviously, you want your child to be safe and you want to be safe. But it's also um, an opportunity for kids to think about people who might be vulnerable and what they can do and active things that kids can do to help people who are vulnerable. And I'm talking about, you know, things like washing your hands, but there may be organizations that crop up that kids can support that are working with the elderly that can be helpful. So I think this is a great time for kids to think about, expand their circle of concern, to think about people who are different from them and not to stigmatize people with this illness either. I mean, this is an illness that is going to afflict people randomly and kids should understand that as well.